This is the Spirit Proton Pack that was for sale. Uh, well, it's still for sale. I picked this up a uh, few years ago, three years ago maybe. I never did anything with it. It's an 85% scale and I'm sure everybody here is familiar with it. And I mean, for the money back then, it was a pretty decent deal if you just wanted some, not accurate, but it's some decent one that you could customize yourself and, and make it a little better, uh, something cheap to run around with. Today, I thought we'd take a look at this one, compare it to the Haslabs Proton Pack and see the difference. And yes, I know it's not a really fair comparison. They're very different products. One is full scale and one is 85% scale. This one's $100, the other one was $400 plus the one, so I made it like 650 or so. But I thought it might still be fun to compare the two in case you were wondering what they look like up close and personal. So first off, the biggest difference here is the box. So this is the box with the Spirit Halloween. This one comes with the wand, tiny wand, and this is the box for the Haslabs. <clears throat> that is quite a big difference. So right off the bat, that is the biggest difference in the two is just size. Uh, yeah. Let's put this down and then take a look at this guy. I haven't looked at this since I bought it, I think, so I don't remember exactly what it looks like. Uh, let's take it open. Let's take it open. Let's, let's open it. All right. Whoa. Yeah, it's a completely different beast, obviously. I remember this one's not, I'm not gonna say it was good, but it was decent, I thought, for like, that's the only thing you can get out there for a cheap toy. So here it is. This is the wand, very, very small. No V-hook, so it just mounts right on here. And just stick it in there. The details are a lot to be desired on this one, as uh, as you would expect. But then again, it was it's, it's a cheap toy that's just meant for fun Halloween cosplay, not actual cosplay but they did get a lot of the like the details the overall look of it i think they nailed it for what it was missing the ion arm though and i've seen people do some really cool stuff with this modding it changing ribbon cables some make a ghostbusters one replica cable that is 85 percent scale so you could put it on here and it would look great for this pack, which is awesome. You can change out the stickers. You can change out all these little valves and cables, dirty it up and you would have a pretty decent pack. Oh, and it also has straps. So this is ready to go uh, to be worn. Now comparing the two, uh, night and day, but obviously not a surprise, but I, I wanted to just get these two up and running so you could see because these are probably the most readily available or I mean this one is this one unfortunately is not anymore but in case you have the spirit Halloween one this is what it looks like compared to it just looking at it at a glance it, this this definitely the spirit one definitely sells it as a Ghostbusters pack I think they did a pretty good job on it and if you weathered it like we said before uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it so Quick tiny little video. This is comparing the Spirit Halloween and the Haslabs Proton Pack. So let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you down there. Make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and do that little bell thing because uh, that way you get notifications when I post videos. The more videos that you watch, the more subscribers that stop by this channel, the more we can expand this universe and we can get into some really cool things. I have some great things planned. So. Join me in my cinematic universe and uh, let's go out and explore.